week 10 Titans at Bucks. And this is why I'm on the full game over 38 and a half. Over the last four weeks, opposing QBs have absolutely shredded this Tampa Bay secondary. Last week, C.J. Stroud, 470 yards. The week before that, Josh Allen, over 300 yards. Desmond Ritter put up 250. And then Jared Goff went over 350 yards in consecutive games versus Tampa Bay. Since week six, this is a pass defense that ranks dead last in success rate and EPA per dropback. And it could be without Starting corner, Jamel Dean dealing with concussion. He is questionable entering this game. Could be a big game for Will Levis. He's got more time coming off of Thursday night football. And the only thing that can slow him down is the play calling from Tim Kelly and Mike Vrabel. They have to realize that you can't run against Tampa Bay. And this is an easy opponent to pass against. Hopefully, they let the rookie throw the ball downfield. Finally, Tampa Bay can't run the ball. They are dead last in success rate on the year. You're seeing Baker Mayfield throw the ball more. We should see plenty of passing in this game if Rabel and Kelly can get out of their way. Over the last four weeks, this Tennessee secondary has seen Kenny Pickett, Tyler Heineke, and Gardner Minshew in three of the four games and still rank 29th in success rate versus the pass. Love points in this game. Want to see passing. Over. 38 and a half Titans Bucks week 10.